Why is being expecting it? Took me ages to find this place, you know that. Oh, man. Time. Go on, take my jacket. But you're gonna let your woman stay in the meeting? What is this, a friends and family dinner? If I knew that, I would've brought my kids over. You speak when you're spoken to, Mr. White. Or should I call you, Signore Alfonso? You don't know. You don't care. But if anyone is gonna leave this meeting here, it's gonna be you. My friends were getting off to a bad start. I know tensions are high, what with the cops tracking our money. But I all the more appreciate us coming together. Dom Bellucci, I'm sister. Mr. White from New York. Bookkeeper, Mr. Washington, from London. And thank you all for coming here today. I consider myself in your debts. Well, let's get down to business. Number Lucci. Gentlemen, we have an issue on our hands. The police are gathering information on the distribution of our narcotics division. In the past month, I have personally experienced three times the police asking me for my documents or my profits. It seems, gentlemen, the times are changing faster than we can catch up. No, 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 but we have the cops in our pocket. <laughs> or at least Don Corleone does. This isn't a problem for us, just pay them more money. But it's not as simple as that. Because... There has been a shift. New judges are replacing the old ones. And they don't accept bribes. No, not these ones. And we have an even bigger issue on our hands. I have heard the rumors that the police have the information of one of us sitting here. Then, what needs to be done? 
I know. There is a goddamn traitor among us. We no way that no one knows about us. We got a rat in the trunk. We would have stayed in New York, none of this would have happened. Oh, and I suppose that you're the one who's figured it out, eh? <laughs> Always the same with these Americans, thinking you can do anything. Nome de Dio lo travel. Gentlemen, I brought you here today to break bread with one another. But here we are, breaking each other instead. If what Don Bellucci says is true, then we must conduct an investigation to find this rat. Bellucci has lost a son. I suspect then, with selfish reasons, that the perpetrator was the fault of this crime. <sighs> what can they do? They can't do anything, they ain't got nothing against us. They ain't got nothing in court, and they ain't got the bookkeeper, okay? They ain't got a thing. If they were man enough, they would have done it already. Beautiful dog. He's got a beautiful white coat, and two blue eyes. This dog represents the body of my family. On the outside, we look like we can't harm anyone. But once we show our teeth, there's no stopping us. Think that you're better than this dog. Stand up. Very well. He's the sign. We'll do an investigation. Mr. Washington. Do you agree? Oh, uh, but well, I, I for one can certainly say that the enormity of such a business that we run is uh, based entirely upon our profit margins. And, uh, and I believe that such a rat, so to speak, in our organization has unfortunately sold enough information to the police to put us in great danger. Uh, now, money is what many believe keeps us afloat, but without the knowledge of our competition, so to speak, the law has a terrible advantage over us. Wait a minute. I didn't say anything about profits. What are you talking about money for? Don't worry about him. He's doing his job. Aren't you?
of toast to our families. Don Bellucci's last son, Antonio. Dio te maledica. Dio te maledica. Dio te maledica. 